a lot of y'all men be lying. I, we can look up at the sky together. We both see it's blue. You gonna tell me, swear up and down that it's red. That, like, I don't get that. Hey now y'all, it's your girl Erica Brockett and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today you guys, I am doing the Q&A video finally. Um, every time I ask for suggestions, a lot of people tell me to do a Q&A video because I did not start off with the Q&A video. So I know I'm a little late to the party, but you know, better late than never. So I have a couple of questions here. You guys, surprisingly, oh, so many people ask me the same questions about my love life. Um, and I could tell some of you guys were asking just to kind of shoot a little shot or whatever, but um, I'm gonna save that for last. So the first question says, what made you start YouTube? So this is pretty simple for me. Um, I like to consider myself a YouTube crackhead. I love YouTube. I watch YouTube all the time. Um, I have cable at the house, but I do not watch cable. Me watching it, it, it's times where it's like I may not be having a good day or I'm looking it up just to be informed about something. Um, and it made me feel like, you know, I, I can kind of do this. Like, you know, people tell me I have the personality, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm like, okay, I want to give it a try because on my channel, of course, I'm going to display my personality. I'm like, you know, pretty animated for the most part. But also, it's different stuff that I want to show you guys um, on this channel that's coming soon. For example, um, I get questions a lot of times about how to become a shareholder in I will be breaking that down on this channel here so people can understand. Um, I'm all about saving generational wealth. Like, I'm really into that stuff. Like, an informative video as well, rather than just, okay, you're gonna have your key key here and there, but let's take care of business as well. Like, because I really wanted people put people on to different stuff. Overall, that's why I started doing YouTube because I wanted to bring smiles to people's face, motivate people, inform people about different stuff that they have questions about. Goals for upcoming year in Next Dance Project. So let's answer the first half. Goals for upcoming year. Um, I have a lot of goals. Like I said in my Costco video, if you haven't watched it, I'll put the, di um, the link in the description down below. Um, ooh, you know, I don't like to share my goals too much of what I want to do because I feel like not everybody will be happy for you and they pray on your downfall. Now, what I will do is throughout the journey of me accomplishing my goals, I will share with you guys and break down how did I do it? Why did I do it? And all those different steps because I hate somebody that's greedy with information and don't want to put you up on game or share any knowledge with you. It's like, why are you doing that? Like, you're going to need help one day. So it's like, why not help your peers or people that ask you for anything? Or maybe they don't actually don't they probably don't even have an idea of them needing this information you talk about it and it's like wow I didn't know I needed that you know what I'm saying so oh I will say invest in more socks um, and as far as the next dance project I have something that I'm working on right now I just need to record it um, I'm, I need to invest in a videographer because my mama and like friends cousins and all that they not getting it I need somebody that really do this you know what I'm saying so that's a goal for this coming year to invest in a videographer to do you know a lot of my videos for me and record like I always I'm always dancing I don't post it but I am always dancing I just don't care to post it because I'm trying to get my skills up at the same time. But I do want to put out more dancing videos. But I do have something that I'm working on and I should be dropping that like within the next week. And the choreography is by Deja Carter. I really love that choreography. I mean, I've been doing it, child. I really love it. I'm ready to eat that up. I ain't gonna lie to you. So um, yeah, that's the next project. But keeping the projects consistent. So in order for me to do that, I have to get a videographer because my mama ain't getting it. She's doing her best. She loves recording me, but girl, I need you to shake the camera certain parts and angles and yeah, just so yeah. So someone said, uh, are you into girls? Uh, I am not. Um, I'm not against anybody who is, but I'm not into that. Like, and I feel like a lot of people may think so because I, I'm a tomboy. I dress, I wear boy clothes and stuff like that, but I'm very much so not giving you trade. I'm very much so strictly, yee, 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 you know the rest. Um, 
I don't, I'm, I'm just not into it. Like, you know, I got people that I'm close with that's a part of the LGBTQ, that, 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 and all that. I'm, I, I'm, I respect it, but that's just not something that I'm into. I just need something swinging. And I'm not talking about some weed and bought at the stove, okay? Next question. So this one says, do you have your eyes on, oh, on me? Oh, I thought it was on somebody. Okay. Uh, and then this one says, is there a new man? I don't have my eyes on you. I'm sorry. I didn't even know you had your eye on me. Um, but uh, I appreciate it. Um, I don't have my eye really on anybody like that because that stuff be confusing y'all. Like, I don't be having time for like men and what comes with them. Like, this, this question may be a little stretched. It be tough because number one, a lot of people be hooked up on their ex still. And I don't have time for that. Like, I understand, like, you know, y'all been together for a long time, probably. Like, I was, let me say this. I was in a relationship for a very long time. Like, I'm single, finally. Like, single, single. And, you know, it, man, like, I'm a relationship kind of girl. But it got to be the right one, of course. But I was just so tied down for that long period of time. I think that, for me... I want to chill right now. I don't mind chilling unless that right person comes along. Bet you know, I don't mind changing my mind or my mentality of what I just said. But you know, for the most part, dude, like I said, people be stuck up on their ex, and I feel like it's inappropriate to me. Like, if you in love with somebody and that's who you really want to be with, that's who you long for, and all yada yada yada, I don't think that it's appropriate for y'all to be lurking on y'all ex's page. That'd be another thing, like. Why are you doing that? That's inappropriate to me. Now, if your girl don't care, do your thing. But if she don't know about it and you got to sneak, come on, saints. That's a problem. Um, Another thing, B, it's a lot of men. Ooh, wee boy. It's a lot. A part of the LGBTQ dot, 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 baby. And I don't have time for it. It's a lot of women that don't mind their guy being bi. Erica Brocky do. I don't want to be with nobody that floats in both oceans. I don't, I, I'm not into that, like, at all. And this is my thing. If I tell you, you, because I make this clear when I first start talking to a guy. I make it very clear. I'll ask you, like, are you into who I am? Thank you, ma'am. And they, some be like, what? Like, they can't believe I'm asking, you know. I'm going to ask because I'll say I didn't ask you. I asked you. I'm giving you an opportunity because I want you to know I don't play that. I'm not into that. So let's nip that in the bud immediately on the first day. Baby, forget the first date. When we first exchange numbers, I'm going to ask that question. <laughs> like, I don't care. I'm blunt with it. I'm not going to sit and try to marinate on it. No, I want to know. Are you into that? Because if you are, baby, fine. That's perfect for somebody else, though. Not for Erica Brockett. We can't get, I can't. I can't get with it. I can't. So it'd be the ex and it's the swimming both sides of the pool. And then it's just some be boring. You're not about the what you're doing me all day now. Like, don't keep asking me every five minutes what you're doing. Or we get on the phone and it's this. Like, to the point I, I like, hello, anybody here? Like, I get my bags with that as well. It's time to go. If you're going to give that, it's time to go. See, it. I guess, like, I'm not saying that I'm picky because that's standard for me. Come on now. Why would I want to be with somebody who's stuck on their ex? And then why would I also want to be with somebody who swimming in the pond? Like, that's not something I'm into. And then boring. Like, if we can't have a conversation, it's time to go. Like, I'm not into that. I feel like in the beginning stages of you, if we talking and it's fresh and you do something you ain't really supposed to be doing or I got a question, I'm not finna keep thinking about it or try to put two and two. You're not my man to do that. So guess what I'm finna do? Get my bags. I'm gone. I don't have time to figure it out. I'm gonna have to try to put two plus two to make it equal four. Sometimes it's equal in three, ten. I don't wanna have to deal with that. Like, let me get my bags and let me go. So that's part of the reason why y'all i'm single anyway y'all because my camera is gonna die that's it i'm gonna wrap that up relationship talk if y'all want to hear more about that put it in the comments down below but i'm done with this video thank you for watching and make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and it is lit peace